Praise the Lord. Amen. Just waving in the air. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are the right place where God is. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want us to read a scripture for today in the book of Job. Job chapter 14 verse 1. It says, man born of a woman is of few days and full trouble. He springs up like a flower and withers away like a fleeting shadow. He does not endure. Verse 7. At least there is hope for a tree. If it is cut down, it will sprout again and its new shoots will not fail. Verse 8. Its roots may grow old in the ground and its stump die in the soil. Nine, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth shoots like a plant. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God again. Amen. Yes. The Bible is encouraging us. We have been going through tough times in families, at work. But the Bible is telling us that man born of a woman has a short time. And this short time is full of trouble. Many of us have tested it, but God is faithful. God is faithful not to leave us alone. Hallelujah. He's been there for us. It says here that at least there is hope and the hope that we have, we have, we have that hope in Jesus. Praise God. Let us cling unto that hope. Let us cling unto this hope. With this hope, God is going to revive us. God is going to restore us. As this word in the book of Job says, yet at the scent of water, it will bud again. God is going to restore us. God is going to strengthen us once more. Hallelujah. You might be going that and saying, God, where are you? God is right there in the midst of that trouble, in the midst of that temptation. God is right there to strengthen you and you will come up victorious. Hallelujah. Let's just lift up our hands and worship him because he is a faithful God. He is faithful every day. He is faithful. He never fails. He never fails. He has never failed. And he will note. He will hold you. He will strengthen you. He will stand with you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Every day.
hakika Mungu wewe ni mwaminifu tunakupa sifa na utukufu heshima zote ni zako baba you are the only god we put our trust in just lift up your hands and give god a mighty hand hallelujah 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 isn't god faithful he is isn't he faithful he is in our lives in our families in our jobs he is faithful just lift up your hands again and give god a mighty hand hallelujah how many are ready to praise this living god hallelujah let's put our hands together as we praise our god hallelujah Final say, final say, Jehovah has a final say. Final say, final say, Jehovah has a final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has a final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah.
out like this. Mahali to me pika to me on a conoaco. Nasasa to na say my way when he been is sababu ya kuinua mikono yetu na kumwambia baba wewe ni Ebenezer umbali nimetoka na umbali nimefika nimegarimu mkono wako baba asante jehova kwa ajili ya uaminifu wako asante jehova kwa kunishika mkono asante kwa kutembea na mimi jehova baba tunakupa sifa baba tunakupa heshima baba tunakupa utukufu mfalme wa ajabu maana kuna mwingine kama wewe fungua tu kinywa chako ukambariki bwana ukambariki tu jehova kwa sababu anastahili unastahili heshima unastahili utukufu baba unastahili kuabudiwa mfalme unastahili bwana wa mabwana mungu wa majeshi asante jehova we worship you, Jehovah. Oh Lord, we worship you, Jehovah. Oh, let us worship the Lord and give you honor. Let us lift his holy name, God, that is not like he is great in power. His mighty God is Jehovah. We walk in. There is none like you, Jehovah. You are great and mighty God. We worship you, Lord. How we love you, Jehovah. Jehovah, Lord, you are king, oh Lord. You are Jehovah, who was, who is, and who is yet to come. You are God of generations, oh Lord, Jehovah. Oh Lord, I put a wing in a come away. Where when he moved back, Jehovah, was silent, he found out to go for the world. 
Oh, 
for us, O Jehovah. We've seen your faithfulness, O God of glory. My Father, we've never lacked, O Jehovah, God of glory. You've taken good care of us, O God of glory. Despite the storms of life, O Father, you've been with us, O God. You've held our hands, O Jehovah, Father. Lord Jesus, thank you because you are our good shepherd, O God. Thank you because you care about us, O Lord. You love us with an everlasting love, O Jehovah, Father. We lift up your name, O God of glory. Thank you for the restoration, O God of glory, you've given us. Thank you, Jehovah, Lord of glory, because you are good. You are faithful, Lord. Receive glory. Receive honor, Lord. Receive adoration, oh Father. We lift up your name and worship you, God. We lift up your name this morning, oh God. Thank you for each and everyone who is here, God. My Father, thank you for your blessings upon our lives, oh God. My Father, you've blessed us, oh Jehovah Father. We lift up your name, oh God. Thank you, Father, Lord, for our families, oh God. Thank you, Jehovah Father, because you've blessed us, oh God of glory. How I pray for the families this morning, oh God, that you may unite us, oh Jehovah Father. Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you may, you may bind us with God 
roots of love that cannot be broken, oh God. That families will stand in you, Jehovah, Lord of glory. My Father, that there will be love in families, oh God of glory. My Father, we speak your blessings, oh Jehovah. We are praying for our children, oh God of glory. That the, our children are blessed in the land and they are mighty God. They are for signs and wonders for you, King of glory. My Father, I pray blessings, oh Father, of our children, oh God. My Lord, we thank you, Jehovah Father. Thank you for the church of Christ, oh God. I pray, Lord of glory, that you may be one, oh God. That we may be one in you, Jehovah Father. That you may unite us, oh God of glory. That we may stand firm in you, God. My Lord, that we may shine that light that you've put in us, oh God. My Father, Lord of glory, that we may be the salt of the earth, oh God of glory. My Father, I pray that we may arise and take our position as church, oh God. My Lord, Lord and my God, I pray for unity. I pray, Jehovah, that you may shine your light, O oh God, and we may be salt, O oh Jehovah, Father, that we may, we may bring those people who are not born again to you, Lord of glory. Thank you for the nation of Kenya, Lord. Thank you for this nation is blessed, O oh Jehovah, Father. Thank you for your blessings upon this nation of Kenya, Jehovah, Lord. My Father, thank you, Lord, because you are Lord of our country Kenya Jehovah Father Lord Jesus we speak your blessings oh Jehovah Father over our nation oh Jehovah we speak your blessings of our, our leaders oh God I pray for unity Jehovah Lord of glory my Lord I pray that our leaders may be guided of you Jehovah in every decision they make oh Jehovah I pray, Jehovah Lord, that they may be guided of you, Jehovah Lord of glory. My Lord and my God, I pray that you may shine your light over our nation, Kenya, Jehovah. Lord Jesus, that we may experience your blessings, oh God. We come against any plan of the enemy against our country, Kenya. Jehovah Father, every altar which is speaking against our country, Jehovah Father. May it be the altar of corruption. May it be the altar of bloodshed. We cancel it with the blood of Jesus. We come again as to right now in the with the blood of Jesus. My Father, Lord, we declare that this nation is blessed, oh Jehovah. We declare that Kenya is blessed, oh God. We will rise and we will not fall, oh God. Our economy, Jehovah, will blossom, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we lift up your name, oh God. Bless each and every one of us, oh God of glory. My Father, unite us, oh God of glory. Be with us and guide us us, oh Jehovah Lord. My Father, where you are, we are weak, you lift us up, oh Jehovah Father. Hold our hands, oh God. Walk with us, oh Jehovah Lord. Lead us, oh God of glory. Thank you for this service, oh God. Thank you, Father, Lord, for your presence which is here with us, oh God. How I pray, Jehovah, that you may minister to us in a way that we've never had before, God. That you are restoring us, oh Jehovah Lord of glory. That you are delivering us, oh God of glory. From every snare, Jehovah, Lord of glory. My Father, you are setting us free, Jehovah, Lord of glory. Lord, we are going to experience you in a new way, Lord of glory. That we speak change, oh God of glory. We speak change in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jehovah, Lord, for we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give a clap offering to the Lord. He's worthy of all praise. Thank you, thank you for coming. I ask that we may take our seats. Karibu sana. I take this opportunity to welcome our pastor. Karibu pastor. And let us wave at one another. It's a blessing to be here. You look wonderful. You are blessed in the name of the Lord. So welcome to this uh, service. It is our second service. And the Lord has been gracious to us. We are uh, experiencing growth. More people are coming. And we're also experiencing the Lord guiding us in everything that we do. And it's my prayer that even as you have come, your life shall never be the same in Jesus' name. 
your life shall be ministered to. And no matter what the devil said, we are declaring that we shall believe the report of the Lord. The report of the Lord says, I am healed. The report of the Lord says, I am blessed. The report of the Lord says, it is well. And let us keep con uh, you know, confessing it, that it is well, even uh, when we face trials of life, and our lives are shaken, uh, left and right, let us still hold on to our confession, declaring that the Lord reigns, and he has won every battle for us in the name of the Lord. So is there any one of us who is uh, joining us for the first time? Please, aha, uh -huh. I can see Mrs. Andati, thank you so much. <laughs> any other who is joining us for the first time? Oh, there's many, many, many more people. Let us appreciate them as we receive them back in the name of the Lord. And uh, at the same time, I would like to know those who are coming for the very first time, that you have never been to this church before, and uh, everything is new, and you just feel God here. So if you are there, you are coming for the first time, I want to recognize you. First time, Kapisa. Thank you. I have seen somebody there. You can stand on your feet. We want to see you better, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Let us appreciate our visitor in the name of the Lord. It's wonderful to be, to be visited. Um, let's get to the word of God today. We are talking about restoration. And uh, it is important for us to acknowledge and recognize the seasons that God is taking us through. Because the God we serve is a God who operates with the times and the seasons. And the wisest man ever, that was Solomon, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, he defined many seasons. And he said there is time and a season for everything under the sun. And he defined so many things. There is time for this and time for this. There is time for this and time for this. Fourteen seasons in that uh, scripture. And uh, as your servant, yes, I am your servant. It is important I know what God is saying about us. So this is the season of restoration. This is a season of restoration. And so whatever the enemy took from your life, this is the time you need to recover back in Jesus' name. Last Sunday, we were looking at David when he came back to Ziklag with his uh, team. They found that, uh, you know, the Amalekites and the raider and they taken everything. The women were taken, the children were taken, the boys and the girls were taken, and they also took every other thing. And David was so much distressed because even the two wives had been taken. And the Bible says he was so much discouraged and he decided to inquire of the Lord. And we say that it is important before you undertake any battle, you inquire from the Lord. And he asked the Lord, will I recover if I pursue? And the Lord assured him, for sure you are going to overtake them and you will recover everything. And David pursued them. And by the grace of God, he recovered everything that the Amalekites had taken. And this season, I am here to announce to you that whatever the enemy took from your life, it is season to pursue and recover in Jesus' name. I want to assure you, as you pursue by faith, you will recover. Every brother who is hearing me, you will recover in Jesus' name. Every sister who is hearing me, you will recover in Jesus' name. Why? Because it is season of recovering and getting restoration. Today I want us to move ahead with the same, uh, still looking at uh, restoration. And uh, our text today is Numbers chapter 22, verse 1 to verse 7. Then we'll be reading verse 23. And then we will also read uh, Isaiah 54, verse uh, 17. And we will do some prayers before we go home. So as you listen to the sermon, I would like you so to be prepared psychologically that we are going to pray today before we go home. The books of law, we call them Torah, we call them Pentateuch. They are the laws of Moses that were given for Israel uh, by God himself. 
Um, the Bible says, then the Israelites traveled to the plains of Moab and they camped along the Jordan across the Jericho. Now, Balak, son of Zippah, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And the Moab was terrified because there were, there, there were so many people. Indeed, Moab was filled with dread because of the Israelites. Uh, the Moabites said to the, to the elders of Midian, this, this, this horde is going to lick us up. Everything around us as a ox leaks uh, up grass of the field. So Barak, son of Zippah, who was king of Moab at that time, you know, sent messages to summon Balaam, son of Bua, who was uh, at uh, Pedha near the river in his uh, native land. Balak said, a people has come out of Egypt. They cover the fence of the land and have settled next to me. Now come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful for me. Perhaps they, then I will be able to defeat to defeat them and drive them out of the country. For I know that uh, those you bless are blessed and those you curse are cursed. Verse 7, the elders of Moab and Midian left, taking with them the fee for divination. Uh, when they came to Balaam, they told him what Balak had said. 23, verse 23, the same book. All right, the story goes on, and the, this verse says, there is no sorcery against Jacob, no divination against Israel. It will now be said of Jacob and of Israel, see what God has done. We declare you are God, you are king, and besides you, there is no other God. We submit ourselves under your authority, and we declare, Lord God, you are with us. We declare your presence is with us. We declare your power and anointing is upon us. We declare this place is full of you and full of your angels, full of the heavenly host, and we are blessed even to have a moment to hear your word. May you receive all the glory and honor, for we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Name. Amen. May we say amen. amen. And may we appreciate God for his word even before we get it in the name of the Lord. So thank you so much. Let's learn from the word of God. So this is a story about the children of Israel. They were coming from Egypt. Then on their way they came to the land of Amorites and they terrified them. They fought against the Amorites and they defeated them. It was a serious defeat. Then they went ahead to another nation that was called Bashan with their king Og. And they defeated them badly. And the news went everywhere that our people have come from Egypt and they are powerful. Then this message came to the king of Moab, that is Balak. And he was terrified. He was terrified by this news and they decided to seek help. And the worst part of it is that he sent for somebody by the name Balaam. Balaam to come and curse the children of Israel. So today I would like us to look at uh, two spirits. The spirit of Balak and the spirit of Balaam. And by the end of this day, it's my prayer that God will have given us victory over the same in Jesus' name. So one of them was a king, that is Balak. And uh, Balaam the one with the, capital, with, the, with the double A. Because the names are almost the same. So there is Bala and there is Bala. Bala, there are people of Bala. And uh, so, when the king was faced with this situation, he sent for Balaam. And Balaam was a diviner to come and curse the children of Israel. Do you know, today we are surrounded by many Balaams. And Balaams are there to curse. Their ministry is to curse everything. But today God has called us to know who we are. 
and to know what he has given us because the spirit of Balaam will never prevail in Jesus' name. So Balaam was sent. You know, they sent for Balaam. Then he came and uh, he tried to bewitch. He tried to curse. But instead of cursing the children of Israel, he pronounced a blessing. And you know, the king Balak was so much displeased. And he told him, you are not serious. I have called you to curse these people. Curse them so that I may defeat them. Then he located another place. He, you know, he made some altars for Balaam to come and curse. And then he tried to curse them. But instead of cursing them, he blessed them. And this was even too much, you know, displeasing to Balaam. He prepared another series of altars and he prepared and gave the offerings. Then Balaam came and he tried to do his divination to curse the children of Israel and instead of cursing them, he blessed them. Then, the, you know, the scripture goes to chapter 23 where he has come to his end and he says, for sure, these people cannot be cursed. The people God has blessed, nobody can curse them. The people God has pronounced a blessing over them, nobody can curse. And so today we are here to remind ourselves that whatever the enemy has tried to curse in our lives cannot be cursed. We are here to return back his curses. We are here to return back what the devil has said because we are blessed of the Lord. We are the seed of Abraham. And whatever God said to Abraham is our portion today. The blessings of Abraham are our portion in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Diviner was called to curse. And I thank God because I'm preaching to Africans. Africans, we know these things of divination so much. Even though it is also practiced in uh, other countries in the West, but theirs is Westernized. They, they, they you know, they, 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 they curse in English. <laughs> but ours is too much and too deep because we curse in our native language. And so we are here today to remind one another that those spirits are with us. The spirit of Balaam is around us. The spirit of, you know, Balak is around us. So there is one who sends the other to go and curse. And today it doesn't matter who was sent and who has come. And who has come with the anointing of divination. The Lord has stood by his word. And he said, the people I have blessed, nobody can curse them. Wewe wezi kulaaniwa. Ninajua shetani amejaribu, lakini you cannot be cursed. Why? Because you are a child of God. You are a child of covenant. Jesus shed his blood. And the word says, he who was blessed was meant a curse that we may be blessed. Hallelujah. Balaam, his ministry is to curse. And uh, I know many of us come from Ushago. We have the diviners of Ushago and we have diviners of the city. And all of them are diviners. They serve the same master, the devil. And God has said in the book of Deuteronomy 28 that I will bless you in the city and I will also bless you where? We shall go. And the diviners from we shall go have said the word that God has said we will make sure it is not fulfilled. So the diviners of we shall go are fighting you. Then the Lord also says, I will bless you in the city. And you are living in the midst of people who are serving the enemy with a spirit of divination. And they are fighting that the word of God will not be fulfilled in your life. And at some point, the two work together. The diviners from Oshago, the diviners from the city, when they have a big mission against you, they partner together to make sure that nothing happens. But it doesn't matter what alliance they are going to form. Whether they are 20 or they are 40 or they are 100, they are defeated in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because the one who lives in you is greater than them. They shall scatter in Jesus' name. Their witchcraft is put to shame in Jesus' name. And today we are victorious because of our God. He has released the grace to come out, the grace to overcome, 
The spirit of liberty is here. And the Bible says where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. It doesn't matter how you are being bound, you are going to be set free in Jesus' name. You are going to be set free in Jesus' name. I want us to read Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from me declares who? The Lord. Now, the second part of this verse talks about the tongue. Ulimi. Do you know diviners cast by tongue? They just speak words and they release mystical powers through the same. And it's not affecting your life. But the Lord has said, that tongue, we are going to refute it. King James says, we are going to judge that tongue of the witches and the sorcerers and the magics and the whoever the devil is using against your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord would like me to stand here and uh, declare these things because it is important for you to hear them. I could have preached this in my, ho my office or even prayed in secret. But God would like you to hear this. God has commanded me to preach this, that you may do what? You may hear what he is saying. That no weapon, whether it is physical or it is spiritual, whatever weapon, be it a, of witches, the sorcerers, the magicians, you know, the witchcraft and every other power that has been directed to you, none of them shall prosper. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will never get a job. I'm speaking to somebody, not all of you. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will never get married. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will never be promoted. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will never have children. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will never build. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will never drive. The spirit of Balaam has said, you will die poor. But the Lord says, all that is nullified in Jesus' name. <laughs> Balaam has said, you will never have peace. But it is not the devil who gives peace, by the way. <laughs> the devil, peace comes from God. And if he has said, I give you my peace. That is Jesus. Before he ascended, he said, my peace, I live with you. The devil may try to say, you will never have peace. You will never know peace. You will never settle. You will never have anything. You will never get married. You will never have children. You will never succeed. But that is a lie. Why? Because he's a liar and the father of liars. He might have said, this church will never, you know, progress with the spirit of stagnation. He might have said members will never settle here. But that is a lie from the devil himself. Watu atabarikiwa. Watu atathibitishwa hapa na mungu. Mungu atapanua kanisa lake. Kwa sababu kanisa ya shetani. This church belongs to Jesus. And Jesus gave himself for this church. And the church is you and me. So what I mean is you are going to prosper. What I mean is that you are going to progress. What I mean is that you are going to make it. What I mean is that you are going to be promoted. What I mean is that you are going to grow. And you are going to be blessed. Because the one who blesses is with us. The devil has never blessed anyone. The blessings of God. Make it rich and others no sorrow. But the blessings of the devil, if there is anything like that in their language, they bring sorrow and they bring all kind of regrets. But you are blessed to have a God who is good and who blesses and add riches together with the Son. There's a song I want us to sing, and then we will take some moments to, to pray some serious prayers in the name of the Lord.
against you in judgment you shall condemn and I would like us to take a moment right now and condemn every tongue and every word that was spoken against us as individuals and even as a fellowship as a families, nuclear families extended families, even as community, we nullify may the Lord lead you, may the Holy Spirit lead you now, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit lead us for we don't know how to pray but thank you Holy Spirit for you give us wisdom give us wisdom, even as we declare this, in the name of Jesus whatever was said whatever was said, that somebody will never succeed, that somebody will never get well, that somebody will be sickly. We nullify that in the name of Jesus. The powers of darkness of utterances that have said that somebody will never get a job. We nullify that. We nullify that. We nullify that. We know this of the devil. We nullify in the name of Jesus the spirit that has said that somebody will die. We destroy that and we cover those graves with the blood of Jesus. We nullify the devil. We nullify witchcraft. We nullify even the spirit of sorcery, the spirit of divination, the spirit of magic, the spirit of devil worshippers. Every power, every principality, every rule of darkness, every wicked spirit, I destroy you. I destroy your word. I destroy your declaration in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I decree. Jesus Christ, no weapon, no weapon, whatever was said against us, against our fellowship, against our church, against our families, against our business, we nullify, we nullify whatever was said that we shall never live to our fullness. We declare now it is nullified in the name of Jesus. Whatever was said that we shall never succeed, we nullify, we nullify, nullify, nullify. In Jesus' name, we nullify now. We nullify now. We nullify now. The words of witches, the words of sorcerers, the words of diviners, the words of diviners. We destroy you. We nullify you. In Jesus' name. 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 We declare in the name of the Lord that no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon formed against us. In the name of Jesus, those weapons will not prosper. We will not prosper in Jesus' name. We will not prosper. We will not prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you now. 
Rima Sakarabakanto Robozika, Ramashanda, Rebeseta, Mako Tarabas, Rebaseto Ribayanda, Masha Tarabaka Zika, Rabasaka Panashando Robozi, Ribaseta Ribayanda, Masha Toroboko Zuka, Ramasha Katarabaka Zika, Ramasha Torobo Zaita Ribayando, Seko Terebaka Zika Ribashanda, Rabasapataka Seko Toroboko Zika, Ramasha Karabaka Seroboyanda, Shapata Pataka. Zika, Rama Shekoria Bayanda, Sepotor Bokozuka, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we declare now that the devils are defeated, that the demons are defeated, that witchcraft is defeated, that sorcerers are defeated, that diviners are defeated, devil worshippers are defeated. Every witch, every evil, every plan of the enemy shall never prosper, shall never succeed again us, against our families, against our businesses, against our children, against our destiny, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we lift you. Father, we lift you. Before we wind up, before we wind up, before we wind up, this is our well. We drink from this well. In the Okisima yetu ya kiroho. I na if the devil tries to fight this well, he fights us. I would like us to protect this well and declare whatever was said against this church. This is where we drink our water. Uwezi kubalia mutu wako joleke simayako. Mahali unakunywa machi. I would like to rise against that, against the Balaam and the Balak, and destroy their spirit, destroy their powers, destroy their wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, we declare in the name of Jesus, whatever was said against this church, against our lives, against our blessings, against our prosperity, against our destiny, against our blessings, against the will of God, against the purpose of God, we take power and authority to nullify those powers, to nullify the utterances that were made against our church, that were made against us, that were made against our life, that were made against our destiny. In the name of Jesus, we destroy, we destroy the spirit of Balaam, we destroy the spirit of Balak, we destroy, we destroy, we destroy in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, we destroy those words. Whatever was uttered, we nullify, we destroy in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus we declare, it shall not happen, it shall not happen according to the enemy's plans, it shall not happen it shall not happen, haitafanyika haitafanyika in the name of Jesus, chochote adu ya lisema tumekata, na tumengoa na tumeondoa, katika jina la Yesu, devil you are defeated your plans are defeated we declare in Jesus' name your plans are thwarted in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. We declare this church is blessed in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This prayer is not complete until we bless ourselves until we bless our church, until we bless our lives, until we bless our children, we bless our business, and we bless our dreams. Let's do so in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are blessing our church. We are blessing the church. We are declared this, this church will prosper. This church will continue to be blessed. We shall increase. We shall expand. We shall grow. We shall grow numerically. We shall grow spiritually. We shall expand. We shall move forward. We shall progress in the name of Jesus Christ. Every weapon of the enemy is defeated and we declare those who come to this church, those who attend our services, those who sit under this umbrella will be blessed of you, my Father, my God. We'll be blessed of you, King of Kings. We declare revival upon this church. Tonight is a revival. Katika Ikanisa. Revival of the Holy Ghost. Revival of the Holy Ghost. Revival of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we declare revival 
revival, revival in this church, revival, 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 Jehovah, revive us, revive us, revive us, oh dear Lord, revive whatever was dead, whatever was dead, revive it, oh Lord, revive our evangelism, revive us, oh Father God, revive our missions, revive us, oh Father my God, revive our services, revive us, Jehovah, revive our praise team, revive our preaching, revive our giving, revive our lives, revive our spirits, oh Lord, revive us, oh Father my God, that you may be glorified, that it may please you, Lord, thank you, Father, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father, we may you we put now our hands together, we want to celebrate the Lord, we want to celebrate the Lord, we want to celebrate the Lord, we want to celebrate him, the King of Kings, we want to celebrate him, Jesus, the one who revives, the one who gives us victory over the enemy, the one who defeated the devil and he made a public spectacle triumphing over the powers of the enemy. Jesus did it. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we condemn the spirit of Barak. Tunalani. Roya Barak. Tunalani Roya Balam. Ya kwamba haina mahali katika maisha yetu. Na tunatangaza kuanzia leo. Sisi ni wabarikiwa wa Bwana. Sisi tumebarikiwa. Tutaenda mbele. Tutainzidi kuinolewa. Tutaona mkono wako katika maisha yetu. Tutaona ukuu wako Bwana katika maisha yetu. We are blessed of you. We are blessed spiritually. We are blessed materially. We are blessed financially. We are blessed family wise. We are blessed in our careers. We are blessed in our health. We are blessed with long life. We are blessed with peace of mind. We are blessed with ideas. We are blessed with the glory of God upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Lord Almighty, we protect our territory. The devil cannot enter this territory. We speak hedge of fire around our lives, hedge of fire around our church, hedge of fire around our families, hedge of fire around everything that concerns to us. And we declare the glory of God upon us, upon our lives. We love you, Lord. We exalt your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the barren sing a song of victory because many are the children of your youth. According to the word of God in Isaiah 54, you are blessed. You are blessed. Whether the devil likes it or not, you are blessed. And you are blessed in a special way that you may be a blessing to many nations. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now we want to give to the Lord because we are blessed with our substances. If you need an envelope, you can just raise your hand. One of the, our ushers will reach you and uh, assist you accordingly. The ushers are moving around. If you need envelope, just raise up your hand and they will be able to serve you. And Father, we love you. You are our God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we are praying for our offerings and the tithes that you may receive the same as we do so in form of worship. Continue ministering to us, Lord, that every area that uh, the enemy had uh, taken things from us, taken blessings from us, Lord, restore us, my Father. We thank you also for those who have paid their tithe through the pay bill, those who have given their offerings through the same. As you bless us, bless them also, Father. We declare the week before us is blessed to the glory of your name. Receive all the glory, Father. Lord, when we go out, we are blessed. When we come, we are blessed. And the peace of God is our portion. We thank you, Lord. May your name be glorified. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit 
be with us now and forevermore.